Most of us have broken a bone or two in our lifetimes, and so have other humans for hundreds of thousands of years. So it's no surprise that our bodies have gotten pretty good at healing them. A bone is broken when a physically traumatic experience like a sports injury, car crash, workplace accident, or even a mere fall occurs. Although a broken bone is bad for your body, if you think about it, it can be a good thing if that bone's job was to protect your internal organs, like your rib bones or your skull. According to sports-health.com, there are five different ways a bone can get fractured. Compound fractures, also known as open fractures, occur when a bone splits in two and it pierces through the skin. Transverse fractures happen when the bone breaks in a horizontal line as though someone sliced right through it. This type of fracture can either come displaced or non-displaced, or in other words, the bones can either separate when broken or stay together. This fracture is also the easiest one to heal. An oblique fracture is characterized by being broken at an angle. A commutative fracture occurs when the bone shatters into three or more fragments. This happens to be the hardest fracture to heal. Green stick fractures occur when the bone cracks and bends without breaking completely. This kind of trauma is more common among children than adults, since children's bones are softer due to the fact that they are still growing. Although there are plenty of ways a bone can break, it always heals using the same process. So what exactly happens inside your body once a bone is broken? Firstly, immediately after the bone is broken, the body begins repairing it through blood clotting. This process lasts about a week, and its purpose is to seal the area around the break and fill the space between the broken bones. According to askabiologist.asu.edu, within the clot, immune cells called phagocytes come in and begin eating away the leftover bone fragments and killing any germs which might have gotten in around the break. Next, a soft callus made of mostly collagen is created around the fracture by a group of cells called chondroblasts. This stage lasts about three weeks. Once this stage is over, the collagen hardens and turns into new bone. During this stage, new blood vessels and spongy bone begin connecting the two disconnected bones inside the callus. Once the bone has become a proper functioning bone, it can take between three to nine years to completely remodel itself into being straight and looking exactly like it did before it was broken. At this stage of remodeling, the part of the bone where the trauma occurred is extra thick and hard, which means that it's more durable temporarily. That happens to be why some people will say that every time you break your bone, it becomes stronger, although it's technically not true. How can you prevent getting a broken bone? Well, there's not much you can do if the cause of the break is out of your hands. But if it is, you can always use common sense to avoid dangerous situations, wear protective gear like a helmet when needed, and not tell your friends at the skate park that you can go down the largest half pipe. But once you have gotten one of your bones broken, what can you do? Well, of course you can always call your local emergency number and an ambulance will come and take care of you, but suppose you're all on your own, isolated from a nearby hospital or civilization, according to myoclinic.org. Then the first thing you should always do is support the limb or part of your body that was broken by holding it or placing it upon something soft and straight. Next, if there is any bleeding, you should put pressure on the wound with a cloth to stop the flow of blood. Just make sure that if there is an opening, that you be careful not to get it infected by letting dirty things touch it, as it will interfere with the healing process. It's also important that you don't try to realign the broken bone yourself, as you will most likely make it worse. If you happen to be in a cold region, you could apply ice or snow wrapped in a cloth onto it to limit swelling and help relieve pain. Once you've taken these procedures, the final step to recovery on your own is to find a way to keep the bone straight while it takes time to heal. If you broke your arm, you could create an arm sling, and if you've broken your leg, you could try to make a makeshift traction splint and make sure not to use that leg for walking. Finally, it is important to stay calm if you break a bone, because broken bones can't kill you unless it causes excessive bleeding to the point of death. Let's do a little recap. 